So welcome back. Uh, here we are again thinking a little bit about anxiety and how to manage that. So we've done we've done a little bit about what is it like to have anxiety. We've looked at uh, control, looked at the practicalities of managing anxiety and controlled breathing. All are really good things to be able to manage anxiety generally and panic in particular. So today what I want to do is again look at another thing that's going to take us down the rung of the ladder. Remember the ladder is from 1 to 10, 10 is panic and 0 is where you're very nice and relaxed. Uh, we want to just come down one little rung of the ladder and one of the things that's going to help us is us reducing the amount of tension in our body. So why do we have tension in our body? Well, uh, life is busy, isn't it? So when we are busy doing things uh, around the place, uh, our body naturally holds a bit of activity, a bit of tension, and we can often get headaches and things like that. Um, and we need to just try and work it through the system and get rid of it because that just brings us down that one rung of the ladder. Now, tension is a bit of a tricky thing. Uh, tension can sit in the body without us even being aware that it's there. Uh, it's very sneaky. So uh, sometimes people have tension right throughout the night, even when they're sleeping. Um, if you are somebody who wakes up with headaches in the morning or you're someone who grinds your teeth at night, you'll probably be aware that there's a bit of tension going on. Now, um, what that does is it just, as I say, just puts us off one rung of the ladder and we need to kind of make sure that we can work it out and get rid of it. It. Now, if we imagine what tension is like, so say for example, here is your head and here is your shoulders, um, and this is a nice relaxed state. Here we are, nice and relaxed at this point. Now, if you have a bit of tension coming, the shoulders just rise a little bit, just a little bit. You wouldn't even necessarily even notice it. You wouldn't even notice that you were tense. And then what happens is that that tension locks in. It just doesn't go. We're not even aware of it. As I say, you can sleep through the night with it still. But actually, it is contributing to us being up one rung of that ladder. And it's really good to get rid of it. But how do we get rid of it? Because it's locked in. The smooth muscles have little hooks on them and they just lock in. And that's what it's like. Tension's locked in. Well, the, the best way to do it is to tense those muscles up, really tighten them up really, really, really tight to a point of exhaustion and then we do a really big flop down. And what that does is as it exhausts the muscles and they relax down, everything just flops down, which is fantastic. And that's what we want to try and do. So I want to show you that today. Um, I also want to um, talk a little bit um, about things like noise. So I don't know if you've noticed if you're feeling very stressed or anxious that noises can or loud noises or lots of noises can make you feel really stressed or indeed jumpy um, well I want you to be aware that noise is an unconscious stressor so what I mean by that is that if you and me were sitting in a room talking and there was drilling going on next door we'd be able to carry on a conversation we think would be fine but actually if we had little electrodes sort of wired up to us our bodies would be responding to that so a key tip to sort of trying to stay calm and relaxed um, and not overwhelmed is to try and reduce the levels of noise around you um, that would be a good start so that's one thing to mention so let's get back to the tension checking that's another thing we need to do so um, let's begin to work through the body first things first it's probably a very good idea to just have a bit of a stretch stretch the muscles out before we do this exercise get everything nice and limbered I mean this is exactly what exercise would be doing for you an alternative so you can do this exercise which is helpful if you're doing exercise regularly throughout your life um, where as you exercise you relax the muscles down naturally because they become exhausted and they relax down so that's a very good thing too but so this is like a quick a quick way to kind of get to that state and really get us ready for a nice calm uh, controlled breathing session so let's just start with um the head we've got to do some stretches first so what i want you to do first i just want you to take your chin onto your chest all the way down to the floor and then look up and then all the way up to the ceiling Look straight ahead and then all the way to the right and then all the way to the left and then we do a tilt and then we do a tilt the other way and now I want you to do a head roll so chin down to your chest and then roll all the way around we start here at the neck because the body loves to keep stress sitting in a certain position and its favourite position is the head, neck and upper back region. So these are particular regions that get susceptible. So that's great. So we're just sort of limbering up a little bit. Now let's do a shoulder roll. So shoulders rolling back please. So nice and back, get it nice and relaxed. 
And as you're doing this, you might notice some clicking and creaking going on, a good sign that there's tension there. Yeah, and then we go forward, so we're rolling forward. And as you do those head exercises, don't ever push your head beyond what feels comfortable. We just do it, we just do it as far as we feel is comfortable for us. Okay, so there we go. That's wonderful. And then we might want to do uh, um, a stretch of the upper back region. So if you take your hand in front of you and you put it across your body and you just pull there, we just, we just stretch out the back, uh, particularly shoulder blades, again, another favorite place. And then your other hand out in front and then across the body and then we pull. So we're just stretching a little bit. That's brilliant. So let's start with these exercises where we exhaust the muscles down and then we relax down. So when I, when I ask you to release, I want you to do a really big flop down. So we really allow the body to relax down. So let's start with the shoulders. So let's scrunch the shoulders up all the way up, right up. And we hold it there till it almost hurts, nice and tight. And then I want a very big flop down, really big. No control drop down, a really, really big flop down. And shoulders up again. And then big flop down. Excellent. You might want to move your head and feel like you might want to rejig, and that's absolutely fine. So that's brilliant. Um, next thing we do, shoulders out, so uh, hands out rather, hands and arms out, right out in front of you. If you hold them right out in front of you, you clench your fists and you hold them tightly, tightly in front of you. Hold them tight, 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 tight. And then we do a very big flop down. Excellent. And let's do it again. Tight, 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 tight. Again, your hands should be nice and tight right out in front of you. And then you let flop down. Fantastic. Legs, stick your legs out in front, point them out in front, so you can't see this on the camera but hopefully you can follow me, point, hold them out nice and tight, I'm doing it with you, and then we do a big drop down, yeah. just let your legs just totally flop down, and then point again, and then big flop down, excellent. Now moving on to tummy area, take your tummy, Pull it nice and tight, like if someone was going to punch you in the tummy, it would be really, really hard. Make your tummy really, really tight. And hold it tight so it almost hurts. And then you do a big flop out. Not very glamorous, but it does the job. Again, tight, 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 tight. And hold it for a bit, and then let it flop out. Fantastic. Now we want to do the face. Again, not very glamorous, but we want to pull a funny face, and then we're going to hold it and it hurts and then we're going to relax. So nice and tight. And then we relax down. And again, nice and tight. And then we relax down. Okay, so that is great. So what we do is we're just getting rid of that tension in our body. I mean, certainly this is something you, you could do fairly easily at home. Um, in the office, you might want to do the head stretches and the, and, the, and the shoulder scrunches and drops down. We actually want to be doing that as often as we can, actually, because what it's doing, again, is just bring us down one rung of the ladder. So if we're generally operating at a five, it's just bring us down to a four. It's getting rid of that tension and our susceptibility to feeling more anxious. So that is...